Good afternoon from Universal Orlando Resort. We are here today because Mardi Gras starts on Saturday. Today is Tuesday, so they have set up a lot of stuff for Mardi Gras. Some of the merch is already out. I'm gonna go inside, see if we, maybe we can get a sneak peek at some of the menus, maybe? You never know. We'll definitely look at the merch, have a look at some of the construction updates around the Minions area and Villain Con. Lots of stuff to see inside of Universal Studios, so let's go inside. As you can see, there is no medallion out front just yet, but they will be adding it very soon, I'm sure. They just took one down because they had a Christian music festival here called Rock the Universe, and that medallion was up here. Just took that one down. They will be putting up the Mardi Gras one next. Not sure why, but both parks close tonight at 7 o'clock. I'm guessing because it's heading into the slower season. It's January 31st at, like, 3.30 in the afternoon. First stop is the Universal Studios store, but on our way in, I was passing by all these window displays, and I like these Back to the Future shirts. My other ride is a time machine. Can I buy this hoverboard lunchbox? I like that. There's a sports almanac. I like this. I don't even know if you guys can see it. I'll see if I can get that one right there. That's cool. All right, let's head into the Universal Studios store. Before we go in, I feel like we've commented on this mural before, but like, what? What's going on here? Why is this mural here? I need to know more about it. This year is the year of the rabbit, and we've got some Lunar New Year shirts. The Universal Studios with a minion with rabbit ears. And you can buy a little minion with rabbit ears to celebrate the Lunar New Year. Or this tank top too, adorable. Oh, this has got all of them. The minions as the different animals representing the year. $25 for this shirt. So depending on what year you were born in, you could get that particular animal as a minion keychain. And they also have this rabbit bag here. This one's cool. I think it's fuzzy. $26. This is my first time seeing this. I'm confused about it. Kind of makes them look 3D. $15 for a light up spinning minion. $25, we have this Universal Studios uh, bottle. And it looks like it has a cork, but this is actually a metal screw-off lid. And it's just meant to look like it's a cork. What a fun idea. I like it because it's kind of like retro colors here for this particular line. $13 for this mug. So there used to be some light poles, I'm guessing, outside of the Universal Studios store. And I think they've taken them down for Mardi Gras just to create a little bit more room for the floats to move around. Despicable Me Minion Mayhem is a 20-minute wait, and they've added some sort of, like construction tunnel to the top of it of the entrance here i wonder if they're going to be doing some work outside of this have a look over here at the welcome to villain con featuring the vicious six so if you guys are up on the minions lore i guess at the beginning of one of the minions movie the vicious six decide to kick out one of their members and at the beginning of the movie they think that that member is dead and so they are trying to uh, recruit a new member because they like the sound of the Vicious Six. And I guess Gru helps that person defeat them. Some I haven't seen the movie, I'm not sure. But we can see some more, I don't even know if you guys can see it, if the camera will figure it out. Let's see, I'm just showing dark, there it is. Some more banners inside. Other than those banners, not seeing anything else. It looks like they are getting ready to start painting on the outside here. They've already done the texturing and the patching. So I think it's time to paint the outside of the building. If it does look like they added some New light fixtures here over top of these new spaces here, which will have probably posters or information about the attraction. Looks like the Minions Cafe has added some new framing, some new steel framing outside. I'm wondering, so the entrance to Monsters Cafe was down here. I wonder if they're gonna move the entrance to Minions Cafe here, because it makes more sense to me over here having the entrance near Villain Con Minion Blast. You can see they are starting to set up the stage here at Music Plaza because during Mardi Gras, they do have live performers, national bands, like on the fourth Saturday, the first day of Mardi Gras, they have Patti LaBelle performing right up here. You can see a lot of the framing that they've added over here at the other end of the new Minions Cafe, previous Monsters Cafe, lots of stuff happening. Hashtag the panda hanging out, waving at people from his second floor window up there. Here we go, now we're really getting into Mardi Gras stuff. You can see these lighting towers over here. And then we've got Mardi Gras booths. I was hoping to have a look at some of the menus, but this is where the menu would go, right here. There's no menu there yet. 
Hopefully soon, though, because it is this weekend. I'm assuming this area in the Transformers Extended Queue is going to be a Mardi Gras bar because of the yellow, green, and purple lights that are in here right now. Which are Mardi Gras colors. More boosts. I'm excited to try all the food at Mardi Gras this year. Oh, yes. Starting to set up some theming out here. Is this what it's like in, in New Orleans? It's kind of like boxes everywhere. And just musical instruments laying around with flowers growing out of them. Look at this banjo. Definitely lots and lots of boosts this year. We're kind of, that's the mummy straight ahead of us there. So we are right down this little side alley. Lots of Mardi Gras boosts. And this one just says Canada over here. I'm guessing they're gonna have some poutine there. Canada, eh? We got some beer taps over here. No menus just yet though. Here in the New York section, we have a Puerto Rico booth, which doesn't have the covering on it. Hey guys, Future Tim here. Of course, the day after I film this, Universal releases a blog post highlighting some of their favorite menu items that are coming to the food booths during the Mardi Gras festival. For Puerto Rico, they picked the Mofungo, which is served three different ways, and that has a base of smashed green plantains, bacon, garlic, and chicharrones, and then it is topped three different ways with traditional shrimp, and crispy chicken drizzled with ketchup mayo. Still don't know what the menu is, but we can kind of see what they're cooking with back here. Yeah, got some fryers, got a hot plate, got one of these things that recirculates liquids. So there is going to be a tribute store, but the one that we had for Christmas was the last one at this location. So now they are moving the tribute store to the Hollywood section of the park. And we're gonna go over there and see that right now. So the mummy was in technical rehearsals for quite a long time, and we never actually got an announcement saying that it was officially open, but the technical rehearsal signs have been removed from the mummy entrance. So we are assuming the mummy is now fully open and they're not doing technical rehearsals anymore, even though there was no exciting notification or anything like that. Here down Sting Alley, we've got a booth for Japan, but it is still left over from Halloween Horror Nights. They're reusing the same facade or the same structure, but they have added new elements to it here. Taking away the bloody rotten meat and added in some Japanese textures. Having our little flash mob dance party in the middle of the streets of New York once again. And we have over here a Bloody Mary stand. You couldn't have Mardi Gras without a Bloody Mary stand. So we just came from this Bloody Mary stand passing by Bull's gym here and we made it down to where Transformers is and if we headed back that way that would go to where those booths were but I wanted to come over here to have a look at something something that Universal likes to do is they like to give hints as to what's coming so we're going over here to this window right here over here at Madame Bastille psychic readings we've got some decorations here on the table for the Cursed Coconut Club. So, for the different seasons, they have been changing the decor inside of the Red Coconut Club. For Christmas, it was the Green and Red Coconut Club. For Halloween, it was the Dead Coconut Club. Now, for Mardi Gras, they're introducing the Cursed Coconut Club. So it should have kind of like, maybe voodoo slash swamp New Orleans themes when you go inside. But still like, kind of retro vibe. Interested to see what it looks like on the inside. Now we're on the other side of Transformers. Kind of made a U-turn here. Rip Ride Rocket is just down there and this would be the Villain Con, the Minions Villain Con right here. And Minions Cafe would be just on the other side of Transformers. We're over here, they are definitely gonna have a booth here for Mardi Gras. We don't know what yet. I'm assuming this is gonna be where the crawfish is. Just a, just a thought. So from there, we're gonna start to head over in this direction. This large structure was for Rock the Universe, so they are starting to take it down now. It was a stage. And we're heading into the Hollywood section of the park. Have a look around, because this is where they moved the tribute store to. Beetlejuice out walking around. One time I saw a meme that said that Pete Davidson is what Beetlejuice looked like when he was still alive. And I think that's funny. Just as we suspected, Williams of Hollywood, which used to be the prop shop, Diego and Boots, the dark room, and this was the Universal Orlando Pass Holders Lounge, have all been turned into the Tribute Store. So it seems like it might be a little bit smaller than it was over in New York, but this is it. And we already have the Ambassador Ballroom live music nightly. We already have some, some artwork out front. What would you call this? Like the marquee out front. 
It doesn't look as intricate as it did when it was over in Hollywood, but there it is. Like they had to build an entire, last year for Mardi Gras, they built an entire preservation hall out in the streets of New York. And that was the tribute store. This year, it's just kind of this facade. Something that they've been doing for each individual season or event here at Universal is they've been having a unique kind of piece of merchandise. It says own a piece of the tribute store. So the tribute store is right across the way over here now. And this is at the five and 10. You can get your photo on a bottle of alcohol. I'm wondering if it's a glass bottle or if it is shipping a prop bottle included with the purchase. So you get your face on the bottle and then when the event is done, they ship it to you. So we do know that I'm assuming there's going to be some form of bar type area in here. And these are $79 and that includes shipping of the prop bottle back to you when the event is done. Not too bad. We'll have to see how big they are. Bart and Homer coming out to say hello. Waking up, Grandpa. Yeah, quit messing with Grandpa. Ooh. How's it going, Homer and Bart? You guys having a good day? Yeah, so far so good, hanging out. Dancing, of course. Did you guys ever make it to Universal Studios? No? Oh, I don't know how. what happened. The classic Simpsons, you guys didn't make it, but in all reality, you did. You made it to Universal in your hearts. <laughs> Can we take a photo together? So like we said, during Mardi Gras, during the Mardi Gras event, which starts on February 4th, there is a parade every night and this is where the parade starts and they throw out beads from the parade floats and a lot of people will tell you that the best place to stand to get beads is over here or over there because they have to come back here so they come out of these gates right here and they turn this way and go that way throughout the park and then they return from here to come back to go back to these gates over here so if you're here the parade floats do come by you twice but usually by the second time, they're all out of beads. So you won't get as many beads on the second time. So you might still get some more beads being here after this, the parade comes back, but you also might not. So I think that the middle of the route is probably the best. Ooh, penguins of Madagascar showed up. There they are, McCloskey. All right, so now we're headed through the rest of the park, see if we can see any more food booths. I think there's a lot. And then we have to head out into City Walk to check on the Mardi Gras merch. Stop by Central Park Crepes to have a look at the menu over here. Let's see, we got some pork carnitas, some smoked brisket, vegan berry, strawberry hazelnut, and that's it, just those four right there. So not right now, for some reason it's not open, but La Bamba did open as a regular restaurant, but during the, the Mardi Gras event, they're gonna have a Mexico booth over here, just on the other end of it. And Universal's top menu pick for the Mexico booth is the Baja Shrimp Ceviche Tostada. It features citrus blend marinated shrimp topped with avocado crema, chopped jalapeno, which they do mention is not spicy, cotija cheese, shaved red onion, and micro cilantro on a crispy blue tortilla. Because because they closed down Shrek's meet and greet over in Kid Zone, he's meeting over here by the media center. Let's go say hi to him. Shrek, how's it going? I cannot believe. Oh, he burped. Cannot believe they kicked you out of your swamp. And they put you in this corporate place over here. You do have doors, which is nice. Do you think it's an upgrade or a downgrade? Oh, it looks good. Looks good on you. Smells a little bit better than the swamp? <laughs> nope. All right, still stinking up the place. I like it. Is it okay if we take a selfie? Shrek, out here burping on command. Amazing. Just made it over to where the old kid zone is. Oh man. First of all, I want to point out that there is going to be a Brazil booth. And Universal's top menu pick for the Brazil booth is the Brigadeiros dessert. It's a trio of chocolate fudge bombs. They're made with sweetened condensed milk, cocoa powder, and butter, and they're rolled in either hazelnuts, chocolate sprinkles, or Mardi Gras colored sprinkles. But my goodness, they are starting to tear this down, aren't they? Wasting no time at all. Look at that. They've already started to demolish Fievel's Playland. You can see there's a crane working back there. Or not a crane, I don't know what that would be called. Like a like a digger? An excavator? Oh man. Well, we knew it was coming, but there it goes. It's getting torn down as we speak. But we can see on the construction walls they have all kinds of DreamWorks characters. Right? And Gabby, of course. 
she had there was a meet and greet right before everything shut down with Gabby from Gabby's Dollhouse. I don't know who this person is. Like, not this is a troll right here. So, like, uh, who's this guy? I don't know who these people are. Please let me know in the comments down below. I know who Megamind is. There are definitely characters back here that I've never seen in Universal before, like Captain Underpants. And this guy. Who's that? This is it. This is where it dead ends back here, right at ET. The construction walls reach right out to. There used to be a stage back there. They've got that behind walls too. I'm really going to town on it. So next to SpongeBob Store Pants, I wonder if they're gonna rename this pizza place over here. It's called Kid Zone Pizza Company. There's no kids on anymore. Just as we're getting into Springfield, we've got another kind of food truck over here for Trinidad and Tobago. I like the design of this food truck. Kind of like these vintage vacation posters, right? With different food items. So I'm wondering if we we're gonna have these things. I mean, pizza and tacos and stuff like that, fish and chips. Uh, pitas. No, I guess not. Those things are all probably already here. Looks like the Simpsons ride is under like refurbishment right now just in the very front. So just the sidewalk out front. The actual ride itself is still open, but they're doing some work just out front here. You can see there's an attraction wait time here. 35 minutes. So to get on, you kind of go to the left of all of these walls and the left of the normal entrance. Also, uh, they got rid of the sludge o or whatever it was. The is that game where you had the sludge hammer and you would swing it down and hit it to try to hit a hammer up to a bell and they have removed it. I wonder what happened. So yeah, the entrance is kind of off to the left over here. Oh my goodness. If I could make a hoop or so many hoops, I don't know how many hoops, I could get Groundskeeper Willie or Principal Skinner. Oh my goodness gracious. I want to try to win a Principal Skinner. How do I win a Principal Skinner? Well, I was gonna come back and use the bathrooms. I wonder if I still can, maybe by like scooting around these construction malls. This seems to always be an issue area here at Universal Studios though. This is probably the third or fourth time within a year, at least the second time within 365 days that I've seen this behind construction malls. So these bathrooms over here next to Men in Black are closed right now. So that means that the closest ones are over there in the old Amity bathrooms. I'm gonna go use the bathroom, then I'll be right back to add another credit to my ride list. I'm gonna get on Men in Black. Just passing by Fear Factor, still vacant, no shows in it currently. Still trying to figure out what they're gonna do with this space. It's a pretty good area that they could incorporate into something, you know? Ooh, this section sounds like it's gonna be interesting. You got a Denmark booth. So Denmark is one of the many new countries represented in this year's food lineup. And Universal's top pick for the Denmark booth is the Rod Polze, which is a Danish red skin on hot dog topped with curry remoulade, pickled cucumber, crispy onions, and fresh dill served on a toasted top split bun. Over there, we've got a Belgium booth. And Universal's top menu you pick for the Belgium booth is the liege waffle. The dough is fluffy, the strawberries are fresh, and the whipped cream is so creamy. I know this one is going to be delicious, so I can't wait to try it. Came back over, a little bit closer view. Yeah, Belgium. We also have Germany over here. In Germany, it's always five past, no, ten past noon. And right, back over to Men in Black. Gonna pop my stuff in a locker and head into single riders. All right, single riding it up. I love the artwork in here too. It's good stuff. Space, there's plenty of it. Have you met the new neighbors? They're aliens. Oh, look out, here comes the men in black. So the photo section at the end of men in black has been removed where you would buy your photos. Now it's just an automated kiosk. It's been replaced with an arcade. Let's see what kind of stuff we've got in here. They have a men in black game. Injustice Arcade, Spider-Man Pinball, good time. Jurassic Park ride, Pac-Man Pixel Blast. So out here in the gift shop, they have all kinds of like, uh, like Demon Slayer stuff. I don't know what this is. This is One Peg, or One Piece. This is One Piece, Attack on Titan, Straw Hat Crew, Naruto. Some more Demon Slayer stuff. My Hero Academia. Lots of lots of anime stuff. And then some Marvel stuff over here too. Well, look at this WandaVision. I didn't think that they would be able to have a WandaVision 
thing because that's 100% Disney. But it's just a WandaVision poster. I don't understand. Is it, it's like, it's art, I guess. But it's $475. It has been a while since I've ridden that ride. I didn't do as good as I would have liked to have done. 383,000. Could have done a lot better. We'll have to get on it again, but I can log it as part of my completion of this park. The food for Mardi Gras definitely seems like it's gonna be pretty interesting. We've got an Indonesia booth and an India booth. And Universal's top menu pick for the Indonesian booth is the purple sticky rice pudding. This light dessert is made with purple long grain rice, sweetened condensed coconut milk, diced mango, and shaved coconut. And this one is also vegan. And Universal's top pick for the India booth is the Pav Bhaji. This popular Indian street food is a thick vegetable stew with a medley of veggies and spices, including potatoes, carrots, cauliflower, ginger, and garlic, and it's served with a buttery toasted Hawaiian roll on the side. Over here at the exit of Fast and Furious, supercharged. Also, we got a construction mall up over here in the San Francisco area, Fisherman's Wharf. So Shea Alcatraz is still open right now, but there is a construction mall, I'm assuming for more concrete work, right out in front of Shea Alcatraz. <laughs> Looks like the last booth for Mardi Gras that we had to find was for Spain over here, just outside of Fast and Furious Supercharged. Now, we need to head out into City Walk, have a look at the Universal Studios store at some of the Mardi Gras merchandise. We made our way back into Hollywood, and my goodness, the Simpsons RV is gone. It has been moved. As we're exiting Universal Studios, they have the actual like exit area closed off behind malls because they're adding new exit turnstiles that use sensors instead of the actual turnstiles. So we have to walk through. It's a wrap. Out in City Walk and I wanted to point out that you don't have to go into the parks to experience Mardi Gras. They're gonna have food booths out here in City Walk. Also wanted to point out that the area that was a splash pad that then turned into a grassy area that was seating is now back behind walls again. So maybe it's turning back into a splash pad? I'm not sure. Maybe they just turned it into a seating area for the cold weather and now that it's starting to heat up again Maybe it's gonna turn back into a splash pad. All right, let's head into the Universal Studios store. See if they have any Mardi Gras merch. Oh yeah, they definitely do. Mardi Gras 23, reversible bucket hat for $34. It's like a, almost like a Paisley print, but it's not. It's this print right here that's on this shirt. It says Universal Studios. Looks like we've got a dragon and some unicorns. And the king with a mask, maybe a butterfly with some birds. Mm, last year it was kind of easy to pick out some of the theming. This year, not so much. And this one is $30. And look, on the sleeve here it says Universal Mardi Gras International Flavors of Carnival. For $35, this is kind of a cool print. It's in color and black and white. And on a black shirt and a white shirt that are stitched together, there is actually a seam down the center. So it's not two different color like, they, they didn't dye it two different colors. It's actually two shirts stitched together. Also for $35. Same shirt, a little bit of a different cut, kind of like tapered, it almost looks like. But it's the same shirt as that, just in a different color. Same design on cups and shot glasses and hats. Let's see, oh, here we go. King of the Bayou. It's like gator skin printed shirt with an alligator, with a like from fried chicken, a king cake, some peppers. Fun. Nothing on the back. $35 as well. $28. We've got like a little purse type thing with the gator on, king gator on it. A 2023 king gator picture frame. We've got a bag down here. We've got a cup. Pretty nice cup, actually. These are usually pretty cheap. $15. King of the Bayou. Has a little alligator on it. $75 for Universal Mardi Gras Spirit Jersey. This is Universal Mardi Gras International Flavors of Carnival. Pretty neat. It is a heavier feeling fabric, but still just a long sleeve shirt, not actually a sweatshirt of any kind. A Mardi Gras scented candle that says louder, wilder, spicier. I'm gonna have to give this one a smell. It doesn't say what the actual like scent is. Smelled it kind of flowery with a mix of patchouli in there. So kind of like a, I don't know, like an old hippie store. I feel like scents are a thing that are so hard to describe. This one's kind of sweet to me. And then this one um, kind of smells clean. And this one smells a bit like cotton candy. Yeah. We also have this 
bag. It's like the Mardi Gras mask. This is $50 for this one. Okay, this one's kind of fun. This little like trucker hat says, looking snazzy, feeling jazzy. It's a $30 trucker hat, bright green. I love it, kind of love it a lot. And then this is just a different version. I like this one, this is fun. Mardi Gras 2023 this is a $30 shirt. So they got the bead tree on there. They're embracing it. I'll have to show you guys what the bead tree is. So after security, in between the two moving walkways on your way into City Walk, you'll find the bead tree. This is a tree that was unofficially turned into the bead tree. All the guests as they're leaving Mardi Gras will throw their beads into this tree and you can see there are still some in there from last year. And by the end of the festival or the end of the season, this tree is just full of beads. So be on the lookout for it on your next trip out to Universal Orlando during Mardi Gras. But please be careful if you decide to throw a bead into, into here, make sure there are no cars passing by that you might hit. They have that same print on a hooded sweatshirt for $57. Have a lanyard, have a King Gator pin. They have an insulated cup. Oh, this has got an RFID on it. So could this, this is a freestyle drink cup for $28. Oh, well that's nice. Then they have a cup here. Well, oh, this is a heavy glass cup. I like these designs for 17. Then they have a drink carrier. So you could carry your freestyle cup in this. And then it is, doesn't say how much this one is. Oh, it was $16. Before we leave, I did want to point out that they did finish this sign on the way into City Walk. So now you can come in and take a photo with a sign that says, Welcome to Universal Orlando Resort. It doesn't even say welcome, it just says Universal Orlando Resort. They repainted all this. It looks really nice. I like they changed the font and everything. It looks clean and nice. I don't know why it took so long for them to do it. We all thought that it was kind of like they took it down to stop like a bottleneck when you're getting off the moving walkway but it's not it's just they were redoing it and it just took them a little bit of extra time to redo it so all in all it was a fantastic day really enjoyed walking around and seeing all of the different stuff that's coming for mardi gras can't wait to come out for mardi gras one of my favorite events of the year there's gonna be so much food that we're gonna have to try it's really feeling like universal is getting on the food festival game like we are getting to the level of the other places around town that do food festivals. There's gonna be a lot of different things to try, a lot of different foods to try, and a lot of different places to try them from. So I'm excited to try, you know, like Indonesia and India and Germany and Belgium, lots of different places to try. Very excited to try. Glad we got on Men in Black. I'll have to get on it again soon to try to like up my score back up a little bit lower than I'd like for it to be. But all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.